As for his definitions for an inner join, uh, this is the most common type of join because uh, a lot of times you are trying to find uh, related uh, data that is matched. Uh, inner join displays only the rows that have a match in both the join tables. For example, in our case, you could join the uh, state province and address tables to create a result set that shows the match data. You can have any number of joins in one statement as long as there is a valid relationship between the tables. So a good way to explain inner join is using Venn diagrams. Uh, the, these are typically used in mathematical uh, discussion. So what I've done here is uh, I have essentially the two tables. Uh, my table on the left side is the customer table. So imagine this is a table with all the data. And on the right side, I have an orders table uh, with all the order information. So an inner join really would be uh, the section of these tables that are common to both circles. Okay, uh, if there there are customers here that do not have orders, and at the same time there's orders that do not have customers, uh, which would be a bad situation. But just for discussion's sake, if that is the case, that data is not included. The only data that is included is the common data, which is highlighted by the dark portion. Now enough uh, discussion on this, let's uh, jump into some uh, SQL code for this. Um, basically we have an old school syntax that, uh, you know, that is SQL 87. Uh, this is essentially the older way of doing things, although uh, Oracle uh, still uses this. But as for a SQL Server is concerned, um, they are trying to uh, get away from this. So let's go ahead and read the statement. Essentially this is a select statement and we start out here we are selecting star which means select all columns and uh, then we have a from clause and this is the first table. So you'll notice uh, my tables here are highlighted in red so they can stand out a little bit. So we are returning all columns from person.address table this part is just an alias, uh, so I'm uh, defining this table as an A. And my second table is person dot state province, which I'm aliasing as B. So return everything from this table and this table where there's a match between the field from the address table and the field from state province table. So you'll notice this is the, the field is the same in both case. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's say copy this and I'm going to go to SQL Server. Uh, in our case I'm using SQL Server 2008. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log into this and uh, start showing you some of this stuff in action. It takes a few seconds to connect to our database server that I'm running locally on my machine here. So if I expand the database tab, uh, I have a database which is AW, which is uh, essentially the AdventureWorks database. Um, and if I expand the tables, uh, this is what I'm talking about. So my first table is uh, uh, state province. I'm going to go ahead and just show you some data real quickly on this. So you'll notice that uh, this is essentially this column is our uh, primary key which is the state province ID. Then we have the symbol uh, so, for example, AK is for uh, Alaska, and we have some other information in this. Now, remember, this table is our main table, and this is going to point back to uh, the person.address table, which let's go ahead and edit that one also. Now, when we look at the data in this table, uh, for this table, we are using address ID as the primary key. But as you slide down here, you'll notice that we do have a state province ID up here. 
and this essentially uh, remember is the foreign key that points back to the state province table and you'll have, you'll see other information including address city whatnot so I'm going to go ahead and click on new query and I'm going to go ahead and bring my SQL from uh, the PowerPoint and what I like to do is I like to um, basically format this in a, in a way where I can essentially see what's going on so I'm selecting everything from this table and this table where there's a match on these fields okay and I will just go ahead and execute this and so essentially now what we're getting is we're getting all all the records so we have got about 20,000 records and we're getting all the columns too uh, from these tables so we'll just do this we'll call this the uh, essentially the old school method and then we are going to go back to the PowerPoint so the new syntax which is uh, SQL 92 compliant uh, this is the preferred way of doing things in essentially SQL Server so we kinda got started on our training training demo earlier but let's go ahead and copy this one also and we'll go back to SQL and we'll call this the new school method of doing things and before I run this I do want to show you really the main differences between this so so you what you'll notice is that in the old ways we are listing the tables together first and then we are looking at the condition okay uh, whereas in the new way what we do is we essentially list one table okay then we use the keyword expression which is inner join by the way you could also use just the word join and then the second table again we're aliasing and what does the aliasing do really it uh, minimizes our code because remember if I come down here on this condition I would have to type in the whole table name here and the to whole table name here so that's what an aliasing does so anyway back to our syntax first table join clause second table and then instead of the where clause we are using on okay and then the same syntax so the syntax kinda looks the similar uh, just different way of doing things now notice we had 19 6 12 rows here I'm going to go ahead and select this and execute this and we should be getting the same data which we do so this is really an inner join between these two tables we'll come back to our um, discussion so the next uh, table that we are going to look at is an outer join this is a join that includes rows even if they do not have related rows in the join table okay outer joins are typically used to find corrupt data or unmatched data there are three variations of an outer join to specify the unmatched rows to be included so we have a left outer join a right outer join and a full outer join first we will look at the uh, left outer join in this one all rows from the first name table which is the one that appears leftmost in the join clause are included these include matched and unmatched data so here's a syntax that we will be using I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this um, then it says use the is null keyword on the second table to find no matches and then uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the demo okay so just let's keep this in mind I'm going to write 19 6 12 here and actually I'm going to kind of minimize this a little bit here in fact before uh, I apologize I'm going to uh, switch this real quick we will come back to this one here in a minute but let me go back to my uh, object explorer and I'm going to actually show you a quick way to do joins 
uh, if you are not familiar with this code uh, this is all very new to you what you can do in SQL Server is you can go to views which uh, if you don't know a view is really a virtual table that you can create to pull data from different uh, tables so I'm going to right click on view and select new view and now it's asking me which tables do you want to add I will add the person address table and I'm also going to add our actually let me go it added the same table twice so let me remove that and I'm going to add another table which is our state province table Apparently, I'm clicking too many times on this thing, but here you go. So I'm going to minimize this again. Now, what this does is, if your database is set up properly, uh, it will pull the information uh, for you. So essentially, just by adding the tables, notice down here it generated the SQL. Uh, it's saying select. We haven't chosen any columns, but from this table, person address, inner join, this table on that statement. So this is a great way to work with joins without uh, really knowing much about the syntax. Now if you select the fields here notice that the SQL will be changing down here so I could go address, city, state from this side I'm going to pull the name. Now I can go ahead and execute this if I want uh, this should bring up the same number of tables, so 19,612. I can even go one step further and uh, let's say if I wanted to filter on Texas, which is where I reside. Let me go ahead and run this and now we're pulling data from uh, Texas. Okay, so uh, just wanted to mention the views, uh, which is really cool. You can even come here, copy the syntax and open up a new query, paste it, and then if you executed this, uh, you would essentially get the same data. So the views uh, are great. At this point, I can actually close the view. I can even save it, um, but I did want to show you that real quick. Um, a little handy little tool to work on uh, essentially joins. So coming back to our outer join, this is what we're doing here. We have uh, selected these fields. So we get the address line, city, postal code. Again, I'm just uh, really breaking down into different lines. And what this does is it just helps me uh, read the code a little bit better. So we're pulling data from the address table, which uh, again, the alias is A. We're doing a left outer join this time. The second table is the state province table with the alias B, this one, okay. So if you look the difference between this one and this one, uh, the main, really the only really main thing is that instead of use, using join here, I'm using left outer join, which by the way you could uh, just use the word left join also, but I will leave that as is. Now so what is the left outer join going to do? Before I execute this, let me go to the next uh, slide real quick. So a left outer join really is going to pull information. In our case, uh, we were using customers and orders. It's going to pull the common information, which is highlighted in blue. But it will also pull customers that have not placed the orders. So why is this useful? Well, if you're trying to find uh, maybe uh, the customers that you may want to target or send them marketing material or something along those lines this would be a good way to pull that information so again it's going to return the matched data between the two tables and also the unmatched table so I just wanted to mention that now let's go ahead and run this one and I'm just going to pull this one and execute this <clears throat> so notice now our record is 19614. So what does that mean? Let me write that down here. Uh, 
Okay, so initially what we had was we had 19,612 when we did an inner join. Uh, when we are doing a left outer join, I am pulling two more records. Okay, so how do we find those two records? Well, this is what you need to do. You can put a where clause. Okay, now remember you are returning everything from this side. Okay but there there seems to be two extra records here so which do not exist on this side okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this field and I'm going to say is null so what this addition means that I want everything from this result set where these records have an ID of null. So in other words, they do exist in the address table, but they do not exist in the state province table. And this should really give me two records. There you go. Bingo. So we essentially have um, two records that somehow, uh, and the the way this can happen is maybe your data can get corrupt and maybe you know there was information here that got deleted or whatnot but uh, I'm going to go ahead and 